In this video, you're going to see how to create a pivot table in Excel that includes a weighted average calculated field, and also how to check that the figures are correct. In this example, we have a data set of loan records. Our objective is to group records by branch location and loan type, and to calculate the weighted average interest rate by those groupings. The first thing we need to do is add a helper column that will be the product of our interest rate field and our loan amount field, with the latter being our weight. Next, we'll click anywhere in our data set, go up to the insert ribbon and select the option for a pivot table. We'll select the option to insert it into the existing sheet and click in the location box, and then click in the cell of our sheet where we want a pivot table to appear. After that, we'll select the fields we want to group our totals by. We'll add the loan amount field as our first value field. Right click in the amount field and select number format. Here we'll go with an accounting style format. Now we'll add our weighted average field. Go to the Pivot Table Analyze ribbon, and then Fields Items and Sets drop down. From there, select Calculated Field. First, we'll enter a title for our new field. In the formula slot, we'll add our product field and divide it by our amount field. After that, we'll click Add, followed by OK. We now have our weighted average interest rate field. Right-click in that field and select Number Format and choose Percentage. Now we'll create a formula somewhere on the sheet just to confirm our weighted average field values are correct. First, we'll copy any random values from our two category fields. Next, we'll insert a sum product formula that is based on our two criteria values. Inside another set of parentheses, we'll reference our location criteria column and set it equal to our first criteria east branch. We'll then multiply this by a value of 1 to convert the true and false values it produces to 1s and zeros. We'll do the exact same thing for our loan type column and its criteria business loans. Now we'll add our loan amount column followed by our interest rate column. This produces a sum product total that is based on our two criteria. Next, we perform a sum ifs formula based on the same criteria. The first input is the sum range. This is our weighted column, which is the loan amount field. After that, we have our location criteria column followed by our location criteria. Next, we reference our loan type criteria column followed by our loan type criteria. Finally, we divide the result of our first formula by our second one to get our weighted average check figure. This produces a weighted average rate of 5.614% for East Branch business loans. When we look at that line on our pivot table, we get the same result. That's all for this lesson. See you in the next one.